Well, turning to weather, it is beauteous out there. Beauteous indeed. Yes. Great day to get outside, maybe go for a walk or have lunch, celebrate a birthday. That sounds good. Happy birthday. Thank you. I'm 29 again. Oh my gosh, again? Yes. Like the 20, Just, I like that year. That was a good 20th, year. 28th year in a row. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's amazing. Well, you know what? It is going to be a great day. I hope you have Thank some great you, my plans friend. this Appreciate afternoon. It. And uh, if you are celebrating Jim's birthday or just please do. Outside, yeah, please, you know, have a nice margarita on a patio for Jim this afternoon. Let's take a look outside. It is beautiful. Look at that. They're all Beauty celebrating is. me. How nice of them. How nice of them, right? They, they, <laughs> took, they all took the day off to celebrate you. Good for you them. They've done the same thing. It is gorgeous in Cape May right now. People are out on the beach. This is our camera. At the Montreal Beach Resort, and you can see the beach is packed. What a beautiful beach day it is. It is calm, it is clear, there's a breeze, a land breeze down the shore, meaning it's warm even on the sand. With temperatures heading to the mid 80s there. Let's take a look at current temperatures. Right now it's 82 in Atlantic City, 82 here in Philadelphia, 83 in Wilmington, 82 in Lancaster. It's one of those Goldilocks days where it's not too hot, it's not too cool, it's just right. It's perfect summer weather today, and that breeze. Really helps as well. Right now it's a northwest wind. We're averaging about 10, maybe 15 miles per hour across the region with a few higher gusts. Not quite as blustery as yesterday, but that breeze really helps cool you down. If you go outside and take a walk, go for a run, the breeze does cool things off for you, keeping it comfy outside. So across the region, today's forecast we have mostly sunny conditions in Philadelphia. 85 with sunshine down the shore. Now we do have the chance for a couple of pop up showers and storms this evening in the Poconos and possibly the Lehigh Valley. And dew points are going to start rising through tonight as we await the arrival of our next system, which comes in by midday tomorrow. And you can see the peak. We've got dew points back to near 70, and then it does dry out again for Friday. Tomorrow is kind of the thorn between two roses, so to speak. We do have this system moving in from the west. You can see a couple of storms here in western New York. That could, again, touch off a stray shower or thunderstorm in the Lehigh Valley or the Poconos tonight. But this is a much stronger system. And this, the center of this low, is going to track right across our area. We just got the latest run of our high resolution model. It has sped this up just a little bit. We're looking at basically a late morning or midday arrival of the rain tomorrow. So likely between 10 a.m. and noon that rain gets in. It could be earlier. I would plan for it even by the end of the morning commute, but I think most of the morning commute will be dry and it should be starting to move out during the evening commute, but we may be dealing with some localized ponding out there on the road. So some embedded thunder and lightning with this. We're not expecting severe weather. I am a little concerned that there could be some localized poor drainage or urban flooding. Not expecting flash flooding as of now, but we will see some pretty steady rain as this comes through. So you may be driving through some pretty big puddles tomorrow evening. Again, a stray shower storm in the in Lehigh Valley or the Poconos this evening. Clouds roll in tomorrow morning. This is 8 a.m., so most of the morning commute is dry. By 10, 30, 11, here comes the first band of showers, and we could see some steady rain embedded within that area. By midday is when I think the rain picks up in intensity, right about here, 2 p.m. Some pretty heavy rain here around Philadelphia, points south and east into South Jersey and into Delaware. This is going to be moving quickly, so the heavier downpours within this rain shield could produce, again, that localized flooding or ponding, but it does move out relatively quickly. We may see a few lines like this with embedded thunder, but not expecting severe weather. By 6 or 6.30, it is already starting to wind down, and it should get out of here pretty quickly. Some spots may even see some sun by sunset tomorrow night and the storm prediction center has kept the threat for severe weather just south of our region that's the level one marginal risk the green for us means thunderstorms possible but likely non-severe so your next seven days today is beautiful tomorrow not so nice at least from noon to about 6 p.m we've got rain in the forecast friday though gives today a run for its money another gorgeous day the weekend is a little hotter and more humid but nice for august with storms returning on monday jim i'll send it back to you thank you kate